All right, so this is on how to add your cardio, okay? So if you guys have cardio programmed into your app for you to do, um, you're going to go to your goals tabs. It's going to be this little one right here. You're going to click on that. And then if you have cardio programmed in, it will have another goal here for you. Some of you guys have a lot of goals. Some of you guys only have one or two. And it'll say something like spin three times 30 minutes or something like that. It might say any type of cardio or it might be specific or it might be like intervals or whatever I've programmed in for your cardio. Um, if you're just starting, I generally don't program in cardio the first one to two weeks of your program because the priority is to um, be hitting your nutrition and like putting all your effort into your training unless um, specifically we've talked about putting cardio in. So you will see what cardio you are to do added in under your goals. Then when you go to your calendar tab, so this little calendar at the bottom, um, you're going to hit that. And then so let's say it's uh, June 7th today. When you're there, it's going to be a little different if you're on an iPhone or an Android phone, I believe. So it might be a little dot, 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 or it might be this plus sign. So basically just make sure you're selecting the day, hit the plus sign. Then you're going to go to activity. Then let's put cycling in or whatever it was that you did. Um, so you can either mark it. You can either start it now. And start we'll it. start in three, Bam. two, one. You can either do that. Um, or you'll just be able to click mark as complete. So however you prefer to do it, um, mark as complete. And then you'll be able to put in your time. So let's say you did 30 minutes. Um, you don't have to fill this out in detail unless you want to for your own personal use. Like I'm not going to be looking at how far you went or anything. Um, but if you, if you wanted to put it in, like you can, um, and then you would just hit save at the top. And then it's going to go into your program.